so see uh, for the people who are who are very new to nft uh, nft is is uh, the 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 value that brings in the value nft brings into the creator is that there are two aspect of it one is they can they need not to know get into galleries or museum to uh, sell their nfts and these galleries museums usually used to charge them a hefty amount uh, to list their uh, artwork over there and even the user base was small so what happened with the nft is that it started giving these creators direct access to the collectors it it has become peer to peer okay so uh, that's one of the uh, benefit what nft gave in for the creator and on top of that there is something called as royalty so now imagine you are a creator and you sold an nft you created an nft and you sold it to me for uh, 100 let's not talk about nft let's talk about an art you sold it to me for 100 rupees i sold it to uh, someone else mr x for 10000 rupees okay now what is you being the creator you need to receive a royalty right and this wasn't happening in the traditional world so now in nft whenever you mint an nft you can you can put it up on the smart contract that okay i need to receive 10 to 15% royalty whenever there is a resale because you created it right and this is lifetime and because of this because of this this nft brought in more justice for creators okay so now talking about primary market and secondary market why i wanted to talk about the previous aspect is that you will understand what is primary market and secondary market so primary market is where a creator sells an nft lists an nft for sale that's the primary market secondary market is where a collector who has collected an nft he resells that nft or he relists that nft collected an nft onto the market that is called secondary market okay so on the secondary market is where the royalty kicks in not in the primary market okay and the entire nft ecosystem depends on the secondary market because more the nft gets traded more the value that generates and the, the asset class is even more solid okay so in our nft marketplace we launch secondary market a bit late so because of that we have we have i think almost like 20% of our entire volume is currently on secondary market okay so it is it has to grow it is growing it is every single day it is growing okay and because of the collections launch it is constantly growing right now okay and uh, we are we are looking positive uh, for this uh, secondary market play secondary marketplace uh, revenue that getting generated and uh, it's going pretty well so uh, as i said there are two types of nfts one is one on one nfts one on one nfts are individual nfts okay one individual nfts and the second thing is that collection nft collections okay so collections is like it's inside a folder and it can be as small as two uh, nfts inside one collection or it can be as big as uh, 1 lakh or 100000 uh, nfts inside a collection okay so let me start with one on one nfts uh, so one on one nfts are majorly the prices are determined determined by the creators whenever they are trying to sell it it is completely determined by the creators and based on based on the based on the, the first first aspect is what is their social currency that matters a lot right now on the uh, pricing for the one on one nfts or even for the collection people the collectors definitely look up for the social currency of the creator what is his brand okay how big is his social uh, social currency how big is his community how people are following what is his brand value all these things people consider but as a new creator whenever you come and try to mint an nft uh, they, uh, they wouldn't be knowing uh, what should be the price of it so the best thing what they can do as a creator let me talk about creator first then we'll talk about collectors mindset towards pricing so the creator what they can do is they can go to our nft marketplace or any other nft marketplace and they can view all the nfts those are priced and according to that they can they will get a ballpark of how much price they can put it up that's the one way second way is that even they they are not completely sure of it can we go to the screen so yeah so here let's say uh, if you want to if 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 you have listed it for 50 wrx and whenever you are trying to list an nft for uh, for sale on our nft marketplace for example uh, this is an nft which i want to list it for sale okay so if i when i list it for sale we give them three options the first thing is that fixed price an nft can be sold at fixed price let's say i want to sell it for 50 wrx okay so when i list it for 50 wrx 
this is a fixed price so this is how much people would buy it for okay this is the one thing so using this people can if they are if they completely know what is the price of it okay they can just put it up on a fixed price creators or if they are not aware if if they do not have much understanding about the uh, pricing of an nft what they can do is they can list it on auction okay now let's imagine i do not know whether it will get sold for 50 wrx what i'll do i'll list it for 10 wrx as an auction okay now the community or the collectors community decides what would be the price of it because there will be a bid war will happen for the 24 hours so whenever you list an nft for sale for let's say 10 wrx okay and let's say i came and bid uh, for this particular nft or for 10 wrx so now a uh, auction of 24 hours would get kicked in okay let's say if i go to discover and if i go to auction ending soon okay you can see here all the nfts those are on, under auction okay let's say for this one okay see the auction is ending in 13 hours and people have bid 5.5 wrx okay so if you are not aware of the pricing okay for example let me go to akashi bhai see there are so many people he has listed it for 20 wrx and one guy came and uh, placed the bid for 20 and the other one 22 and other one 24 now the collectors community will decide what is the value for this particular nft that's the other other option for a creator if he is if he or she is not aware of uh, what is the pricing if not even if they are not completely aware of it or if they have overpriced it we still have an option here make an offer i do not want to buy it for 20 wrx instead what i'll do i want to buy it for 20 10 wrx okay i can make an offer to buy it for 10 wrx okay so this is the way the pricing can be determined for the creators if they are not aware of if they are not aware of what to price their nfts okay and now coming to uh, a collectors mindset even the collectors have the same feature available whenever they want to come and buy an nft they would do make an offer or they will directly buy or they will come and uh, do a live auction with them and on top of that this is about uh, one on one nfts and collections like let's let's say let me go to collection okay let me go to a collection called as kunal okay css club so now here see there are 1100 items are there nft and the initial when when this particular project got launched the nft was getting sold for 0.25 bnb which is almost like uh, uh, almost like uh, uh, 100 dollars 100 dollars in inr it would be almost like 8000 8, rupees okay so each nft got sold for uh, 8000 rupees now there is a concept called as floor price so floor price is the least price of an nft that is on sale inside this particular collection okay so now if you have to buy any nft like this 1000 1100 nft you have to pay minimum of 1 bnb that is the price determined by a concept called as floor price okay floor price let me repeat floor price is the uh, the lowest price of an nft which is on sale okay so if i have to buy any nft let's say let me sort by do a sort by price lowest filter and buy now okay see this is the nft which i can buy 1 bnb 1 bnb is the lowest amount i can pay for it so people have people have like let's say let's say uh, if i go to date sold recently these are the nfts that have been sold like let's say this one see it has been got sold for 1.3 1.35 bnb okay so uh, this is uh, this is the other way the nfts are getting value and this is how the prices of an nft gets determined uh, so these are the these are all the aspects people look into when they uh, try to make an invest in investment in an nft so for creators see uh, what matters in any aspect is that first thing is that if they have a better brand value okay people definitely uh, look into it because that's one of the major aspect anywhere it need not to be here as well okay because people buy see iphone provides the same features as that of any other uh, mobile but still people prefer iphone because obviously they have a better product but on top of that they have a better brand okay so that applies everywhere so even for a creator the first thing what we uh, first thing what we tell them or what we suggest them is that they have to build a brand inside the community that's the one thing and that's why we as a platform we host different sessions and we let them host sessions for people to community 
so that they get the limelight and they get be they, they get visible in the community so we host on in our community we host different types of events different types of sessions just for all these creators even they can host it okay so we are a, as we are a community driven nft marketplace they can they will host uh, uh, sessions and that's the way they they can even create better brand out of it so for creators majorly obviously art quality is one aspect second aspect is they need to have a better community they have to have a better brand value okay that's the one thing and third thing is that currently in the entire nft ecosystem collections are selling more collections when i say collections the collectibles collectibles are more selling right now because uh, because of the uh, the tradable aspect of it okay so there are two types of uh, collectors one is the actual collector who just collect they do not want to uh, sell nfts or uh, these are the like let's say these are the traditional art collectors you can you can tell it like you can consider it like that okay they just collect it but there are other uh, collectors as well let's say traders so what they do is they come and trade nfts and they want to make quick bucks okay so 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 uh, currently in all the major platforms collections are uh, working really well so creators are currently uh, creating different types of collections so that because even the collections have more uh, uh, buyer uh, points like data points for their for the to 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 ensure that they have better they can make a better buying decision so collections has m m more uh, buyers data points okay so that's what uh, even uh, creators are currently looking into so that's these are the few of them i'm just talking about for creators it's majorly brand obviously the artwork uh, or the nft the quality and the third thing is that the collections that would work for them that may not work because there are few creators who are just focusing on one on one one on one nfts okay for collectors obviously uh, if you know these aspects right uh, they that's the that's the thing what even collectors are looking forward to like if if there is a if there is an nft uh, if they want to invest in an nft uh, if let's say a collection like a 10000 project okay be it even it can be even as big as a crypto punk or board ape the first thing that they look into is community how big is the community and what is the road map towards it okay what are they building okay and who is building it who is creating it okay so there are different aspects what collectors even look into and that's what i spoke about uh, for the creators as well so these are the major uh, attributes that creators and collectors follow so that uh, they get good returns on the nft investments